Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel if you're a new visitor and welcome back if you're a subscriber. I'm Susan Anderson and this is Susan So Creative where it's only wrong when it doesn't work. Join me today as I show you how to create a background fill on a quilted applique block in Pro Stitcher on your long arm machine. In order to do an applique block, I'm going to first start with my background fill. I'm going to choose the fill that I want. And I've already gone to my file design and I've opened the crosshatch square because I want a bit of a background on this design. Okay, now I need to trace my area. So I'm going to go back to my fabric. I'm going to start into the upper right corner. All right. And let's back this up. I'm going to start in the upper right corner. And then on my screen, I'm going to go to area. I'm going to touch multi-point. Slide my machine to my next corner, touch multi-point again, slide it down to the bottom right, touch multi-point, and the bottom left, and touch multi-point. Now I've got my block laid out. Now on my screen, I'm going to just refresh the entire screen so you can see there's my block and here's my background fill. So I'm going to go to modify, I'm going to go to skew, and I'm going to select border skew. And it's going to fill my design area. You see that? Okay, so we have the design area taken care of. Now, I'm going to set that by touching my baseline. I'm going to go to save and I'm going to save the workspace. I'm going to select the number one workspace. Come on, I think. Here I am. And press save and yes, I'll overwrite it. Okay, now I've saved my workspace. Now what that's going to do for me is if I mess up, I'll still have the actual size of the workspace all laid out, everything mapped out in my computer that matches my block that I'm stitching so I don't have to redo it and hopefully get it right. So right now, we've got that all saved. Now, once I've got that done, a little bit more for you, okay. We're going to go ahead and go to area and I'm going to clear the area. There we go. It's, my design still stayed the same size because we baselined it. Now I'm going to manually trace around my little gnome in my block and touching the multi-point as I go. Still working in area. Now I'm going to follow him pretty close. I'm using a laser pointer that is available for my Janome QMP18 and I'm running that just about a sixteenth of an inch off the edge of my my pattern or my, my applique. So we're just going to go ahead and every time I want to do a slight change in direction, I'm going to, I'm not sure that he's perfectly straight on my frame, slide this around and trace him out. Now, the more detailed I get, the better result I'm going to get on my design when he's stitched out. Now, you can have any number of points, there we go, any number of points that you want to in tracing a design area. You don't have to do four, you don't have to do six or eight, you can do 135, you can do 300. You can do as many points as you need to in order to get the design or shape that you're after. And I'm just going to trace him off like so. Now he's going to take a little bit of time. I'm not too worried. 
I didn't start this um, particular program until oh say 10 o'clock this morning I'm gonna have this all done have this whole piece all quilted today and the border put on it and filming and everything else so I'm really happy and excited about that so again just take a couple of a little extra time to get the shape as much time as you need I'm going to back up here so that you can see I'm getting the shape coming out into my background now we're still tracing the design area here so I'm not ready to do any modification or cropping or anything yet I will as soon as I get my whole design Once I have the outline complete, I'm ready to go ahead and remove the cross hatching from the center of the design. So I'm going to go to modify. I'm going to select crop. I'm going to go over to the far right side, select edges, and then inside. Inside will remove the design stitching from inside so it won't stitch across my applique. I have one more process before I'm ready to stitch this out. After I've got it the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and go over to Baseline. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Save, and I'm going to save my workspace. And just write it over, say number two, and just save it that way. That way that's in case anything should happen, and while I'm stitching it, I've already got it set. So I'm ready to touch quilt, turn on my options, now I'm ready to just go ahead and let my pro stitcher take over and stitch out my design. And we'll zoom down here so you can watch. Hope you picked up some tips on doing background fills for applique blocks and how easy it is to do in Pro Stitcher. Stop by your dealer for any of the accessories shown in the video. And remember to bring along your machine make and model number so you get the correct accessories. I'm Susan Anderson. Hope to see you next time on Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong when it doesn't work. <laughs>